Hey, what's up? Raphael Valentino here, and welcome to another Ableton tutorial. And this one's going to be a quick tutorial. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions as to how to mix two tracks together that aren't necessarily in the same tempo. So, for instance, specifically, someone asked, how do I get a track from 100 beats per minute over to a track that's, you know, 110, 115? So we're going to be taking two tracks. Uh, right now we're going to be taking Crazy in Love by Beyonce and we're going to be taking that track and mixing it into a track that is 113 beats per minute, which is going to make you sweat. Um, and now I've, uh, I've basically used these tracks before, so they're, uh, they're already warped. But just to kind of give you the rundown as to what I did, um, when you're using tracks, especially older tracks, they may not be perfectly... Um, perfectly warped so you may have to go throughout the entire track and just kind of set anchor points at um, intervals that are that are pretty easy to see so at 17 I can see over here this is still pretty sticking very well um, and if you plan on using these tracks see over here we're starting to sway away so we want to snap it over here if you want to get really gritty go down here and as you can see down here we're getting closer to 100 beats per minute so uh, if you're not sure how to warp, uh, I'll be making a separate tutorial just on that. And once you're done, if you plan on using these tracks again in the directories that they are, just click this little save button down here, and it's going to save an ASD file with all of the information, such as like the warping and any other changes that you've made to the tracks, like cuts or if you cropped any samples, um, that's all going to stay in the ASD file. So uh, same thing that's done with uh, with this track. So we've already gone, and as you can see, we've we've inserted anchor points add um, some of the transients here just to kind of make sure these tracks stay on point. Uh, but for now, no matter what these tracks are, this one's 113.41 it looks like over here. So um, this track actually is in a solid 113 or 114. It kind of, it's in between. Um, so right now, the global tempo is 99.98 beats per minute. So if we set this to 100 even, now everything changes to 100, which means Crazy and Love is going to sound pretty normal, but gonna make you sweat is gonna sound very slow so we'll listen to that now another thing to note is the tempo once you click a tempo up here the uh, you're gonna get an automation line on your master track and this is your automation for the tempo so you can basically take this and ramp it up. We're going to exaggerate now, go from uh, 100 to 150 just so you can see it. And this is what it sounds like. Now, by default, your warp mode is going to be set to beats. Now, when you heard it, it was at Complex Pro which is a great algorithm if you're literally using it for anything other than just drum patterns and whatnot. Um, it's, a, it's good practice to always kind of leave this at Complex Pro if you're in the middle of warping something or you're bringing something down or up or if you're working with an acapella. It's not going to sound robotic. It's not going to sound choppy. So if you want to hear what it sounds like before then on beats, just take a listen to this. It just sounds choppy and bad, so if we set this warp mode to Complex Pro and do that again... So that's much, much, much better. Also, to make things easier, if you're making a podcast or a mix or whatever you're making, if we know already that the lowest beat per minute is 100, we can type it in here to the tempo range minimum, and then our maximum is, let's say, 115. Um, we'll speed this up a little bit. So right here, we're gonna set one marker here, and then I kind of want to shorten this. So I want to. I'm gonna go ahead and click Command E on the keyboard to make a break at the playhead, and then I'm going to make another one here. So now this highlighted region, we can bring this here. Now I'm going to take the clip head and just drag it back. So now what that does is we just shortened it and it sounds like this. Okay, 
so that's good. So we want the song to basically go from 100 to 115 right here. So right off the bat, we'll add some little volume automation here too, so it's not obnoxiously loud. We're not trying to master anything, but if we can make it a little better, why not? I'll just leave this at minus one, and this is going to gradually just start fading down, and then when it hits somewhere over here, it drops down more dramatically, and then over here, it's probably lower. You can also use the fades. I just find I have more control over using actual um, uh, envelope markers. So let's see what this sounds like. So that's basically how you just go from a song that's 100 beats per minute at 115. Uh, a couple things to go over one more time. Make sure that you did click on your tempo range. Uh, you do set envelopes and to make things easier for you, set a minimum and maximum. Um, this technique is basically the quickest way to do this. Um, just make sure that everything relies on the warping. The more time you spend on the tracks at the beginning, uh, the better it is for you. So after you're done warping it, if you're gonna use these tracks consistently, Right now, if I click save, it's going to know that I want to use the pro warp mode. It's going to know that I have all these warp markers set up. And it's also going to know that I'm omitting the first um, the first section of this song over here, too. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to subscribe, shoot me some messages, or some comments in the video below. And that is it.